Lee, I think one of our producers, uh, Zach Dean, had a question he wanted to ask you, okay. if you don't mind. Sure. Hey, how are you doing? I'm um, doing great. Good, good. Well, and you kind of hit on this uh, somewhat a little earlier, but uh, I just, you know, there's a debate that's going on, uh, especially in Nashville in the legislature, about uh, retention elections and, and if they fall in line with the state constitution. Um, mm -hmm. The state constitution says, you know, the judges shall be elected by the people. Um, would you consider a, a retainment election uh, in line with the, with the constitutionality of the Tennessee uh, Constitution? Well, um, there's been two special Supreme Court panels that have made that decision and decided that a, a retention election is an election. Okay. Uh, and it does comply with the Constitution. Um, and I can tell you, after spending a couple of months here traveling all over the state, uh, raising money, buying TV ads, doing a full-out campaign, this, this is an election. Uh, it's absolutely an election and a serious one. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. And, you know, I don't, I don't uh, have any uh, disagreement with it being an election because I think it's important that voters have a choice. I think it's important that we, we be held accountable to the voters. Uh, so I'm, I actually have embraced this, and I've, I think it's been a great opportunity to travel the state and meet Tennesseans and just let them get to know me and my record and, and what I stand for. Good. Well, hey, well, good luck to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's uh, Zach Dean, Justice Lee, uh, one of our, our student producers. He's a recent graduate here uh, okay. from the University of Tennessee, and he filled in for us today. And, and so uh, so this kind of questions that come from uh, former UT students, which was I thought well, was a great question. Well, I'm a former UT student, so I, I, he did have a good question. So you mentioned about getting out and campaigning, raising money and things like that. Uh, do you think uh, if this issue if it had not been made an issue about you all being liberal this or that or whatever that you would have uh had the opportunity or taken the opportunity to get out as much as you've had is that could that be a silver lining to this uh well i do think it's a silver lining a typical i've run in three other retention elections and never raised any money didn't campaign uh just stood on my record uh but so we are campaigning because there has been over a million dollars pumped into this state um to defeat us so we had no choice but to campaign. And and what's important is, you know, my name's not on the ballot just because I wanted it there. It's on there because the Tennessee Judicial Performance Evaluation Commission, nine members appointed by the Speaker of the House, Speaker of the Senate, did an extensive review of my work performance. And every single member of that commission voted to recommend my retention based on uh, reading my opinions, talking to others, talking, uh, reviewing survey results of appellate judges, trial judges, lawyers, and court personnel. Uh, so that's something that's very unique about a retention election is that we're not on the ballot just because we've asked to put our names there. We're on there because we got a, a majority of members of that commission to vote to retain us, and in my case, all nine members. Justice Lee, uh, we thank you for taking of your time today. I want to offer you a, a minute or two or three, if you'd like to take it, to uh, once again uh, explain to our listeners uh, why they should vote for retention for yourself, and I'm assuming Justice Wade and, and the other justices as well. Right. So if you'd well, like to take the time to do that, yes. Absolutely, and thank you for having me on today. I do ask people to vote to retain me because... I believe in upholding the Constitution and applying the laws of this state. That's, that's the oath I took when I was sworn into office. It's what I've done every single day. I'm committed to serving the people of Tennessee, and I want to continue to serve these next eight years. And uh, But the final note is, please get out and vote. One way or the other, please vote. Now, uh, I have noticed that uh, you're doing the social networking thing and all that, so would you like to tell our uh, oh. listeners how they can uh, get in touch with you on uh, social networking? Absolutely, yes. I have a website, justasharonlee.com. Please go on there and read about the news of our campaign. You can contact me on that website. And I have a Facebook page, Justice Sharon Lee. Please go on there. Please like the page. And uh, we, we update it really often. You get to see a lot of photographs and news updates of our campaign across the state. So, uh, uh, you know, I think social media is a really important uh, way to communicate, and I've really been uh, making good use of that during this campaign. Well, I've come into it kicking and screaming, but I have been convinced that it's a necessary tool, and Zach Dean is laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it is, and it's a great way to communicate. Because he was one of those that convinced me. Justice Lee, thank you for taking the time today. Uh, I appreciate it, and uh, when all this